So hello, welcome back, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Assetto Corsa Competizione video. <laughs> well, welcome back to the channel, yes, we're back, uh, it's 1.8, 2.2, 1.8, yeah, 1.8.2.2. Obviously, I think we're all very much aware that there are still many, many issues with this game. Um, let me just turn this fan down. I just have like a little fan that I have running uh, that I always point towards my wheel uh, just to try and help cool the wheel at all times really. Just uh, runs off the USB. But anyway, yeah, coming back to the game itself. Um, I've had loads of discussions over this past couple of weeks. Um, I've been away doing some training. Um, but obviously there's a lot of guys playing the game, a lot of guys have been struggling with the game since 1.8 update. Um, it plays brilliantly, don't get me wrong, behind the wheel, especially if you're using the Fanatec 2.5 base, it just feels, it feels amazing. I just feel super confident driving the car, it almost feels like I cannot lose control of this car. Even through some of the worst slides it still feels, even with the GT3 rim. Uh, which can sometimes be quite fiddly when you've not got like a full wheel to work with. <coughs> uh, but it just feels brilliant. The, the, the sensation feedback through the wheel is brilliant. I cannot fault that. If, if we can keep with this version of the force feedback, I know there's a couple of people. Um, I know Daniel Arlotti is still struggling. It's not 100% for him maybe 70% as good as it used to be um, so maybe there are a little bit of a tweak uh, needed I think he's on the Logitech G920 but thank you so many thank you to so many people um, I put a little link um, or a little questionnaire really on the Facebook group um, I'll leave a, a link in the description where people could just put the, what console they were using what wheel they were using and whether they actually found the game that was playable um, for some people it wasn't, um, but for a lot of us it seems to be quite playable, give or take all the issues that are going on behind uh, 1.8 itself. But uh, in all honesty, in initially I thought, why don't you just go back to 1.7, 14.0, uh, because so many other people were happy with that. But obviously the, the developers are trying to move forward. Um, a terrible donut that was. Uh, but obviously the developers are trying to move forward with the game and obviously we've got in uh, November 4th coming the American track pack. I forget what it's called. Con I don't think it's a continental track pack. But obviously we've got Watkins Glen in Indianapolis um, amongst a couple of others as well as liveries and I think five new cars to the game. So I think we're all looking forward to having some extra content in the game. Um, Obviously, there's the massive issue that for me is still um, it's still the special events. I'm just going to rewind this replay because it's good just to sit in the background. But yeah, it's it's. I, I just think it, it's worthwhile adding the special events. It's not a hard thing to add into the game along with everything else. I think it would keep a lot more people happy that don't do a lot of online gaming. It's just a part of the game that it's fun to do it's a fun challenge there's other people competing and it just gives you a ballpark as to what other drivers are capable of doing within the game itself what sort of lap times people are setting i i did take part in a number of lobbies last night and i must have spent about four or five hours on the game last night uh, just in and out of lobbies doing various races really good standard of racing um, a lot of guys still using a controller which is good to see it's still there are still guys using controllers out there albeit they're probably a, a good two or three seconds off the pace using a controller and I, I've tried it myself and it is very hard to get the level of um, feeling that you get through the wheel and pedals um, the level of commitment that you can um, deliver especially through the braking areas of the corners um, but in this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop uh, three setups for the Bentley: one at Suzuka, um, one at the Nurburgring, and one at uh, Monza. Um, so do stay tuned if you're wanting some setups for this car. They do work pretty well, and I've had quite a lot of um, easy wins. I won't, well, I won't say easy wins. 
they, they were fairly easy last night, but still some tough competition um, that pushed me all the way to the to the um, last lap, really, uh, within a few tenths. So I wouldn't say particularly easy wins, but I do generally race with the AI almost at 100%. Um, so it, it is a good challenge, I think, when it comes to racing uh, online if you've got the AI set at 100% or 90, I think I have 99% we'll have a look but uh, we'll look at things along the way but I'll just drop this setup um, as you can see it right now I'll, I'll turn a quick lap um, so you can see how the car performs and then we'll just have a quick look at the setup and then move on to something else I'll try not to do this video over the space of an hour let's try and get it done a little bit before that um, so return to the garage. We'll we'll cover a few issues, obviously, while we're um, while we're doing this video as well. So I'm not I'm not going for it all out and out. I've got the temperature set really low, as everyone does when they're trying to show how fast they are. They just bang the temperature down really low. But I think I was still capable of a um, 201.5 in this. Maybe a 201.3, so when I'm actually really focusing. So nice and early on the brake, keep the car nice and stable through this corner. Very late on the power, see the ghost. Just a little lift as you come into here, drop down to second, run this inside kerb. Almost come off the power a little bit earlier to pick up this inside kerb. Down into second on the power a little lift to bring the front of the nose in and then back on the power all the way around here I love this corner the car really does handle this curve quite well as well two shifts down back on the power don't go too wide nasty bump on the uh, left hand side there get the car in a nice straight line all the way out on the right hand side here almost like you're steering across to the left before coming to the right just hit the traction control and back to TC7 gonna look for this little marker on the right hand side here little curve just there two shifts down back on the power off the power down to second as the, you see it just sort of hugs in there and then you can get back on the power again not running too wide there sometimes I like to stay in 6th gear through here and sometimes I'll just drop it to 5th not particularly using any brake and then really heavy on the brake pedal don't touch the grass like that <laughs> we'll do one more lap let's try and get a little bit closer to our ghost I'll try not to talk all the way through the lap. Try and um, try and nail it a bit. So nice and straight through the braking phase here. Not really getting on the power um, effectively there. Again there, just hesitant on the power. Probably as far wide as I could have gone there. just stops the engine bouncing on the, um, the the traction control bouncing as you come from 7 to 1 there you see he's got just a bit of a better exit there Cut 
Just running wide. I'll not do another lap, just so you could see though how I'm sort of attacking the circuit. Turn to the garage and just so you can see the timetable, just one lap that I managed to set. You can, obviously, you can see the track temperature is pretty low, um, but yeah, I don't like as well how it has the it doesn't have my name up here on the top left. I don't know why it, it does that at the moment, it doesn't use the, the player name. Um, but let's just go into this setup. I'll just flick through it, download it as you will. Um, one of, oh, we'll just go through it and then you can um, you've got it then aren't you but one of the one of the little tip um, I would like to suggest obviously when you're going into your races and you've got to do a pit stop you're always going to come to this screen and you, you're setting up this section here well I'm, I'm sure it was a tip that Daniel Orlotti again mentioned some time ago but if you flick through here obviously you can see it's adjusting the tyre pressures between um, between each of these between the first three there it, it changed them um, so if we just have a little look at the tire page one and we've got 26.4 on the front and then 26.8 on the other front so if we come back down here and on the last one here on uh, pit stop number four that has actually got the same tire pressures that I'm using um, on the main page so, so something you might want to think about just to set those up really quickly just have a little flick through the pit stop numbers and you can actually choose the tires that are set up um, that you're actually running which are really helpful I think so just a little tip on that one now obviously we've got this massive issue um, with loading your setups and having to go back to the controller obviously you can see I'm using the wheel here I've got my little controller down the bottom here and what I'm having to do, obviously, if I press Y on my wheel, it does absolutely nothing. Um, it does nothing. And, and obviously, you can see as I move up and down in this menu, it's actually moving up and down on the screen behind me, which is very annoying as well. I'm just changing views. So that's something that really does need adjusting as well. But it's nice to see that we've I've, I've actually got Y down the bottom now. Um, but obviously we're having to come back out and go to the main options menu we've got to come to controls and then you've got to choose controller in the control bindings then you've got to come back out of there and then you can go back into your setups and obviously I'm still using my wheel here I'm still using the wheel uh, we're going to current setup and then I'm pressing Y on my controller and now I'm still going to use my wheel I'm still going to select whatever I want I can still save it using that I can come back but what I've got to do from here is go back into the options menu back into the controls change it across I always like to come down and just reload the um, the, the settings that I've got there but as you can see in here on the right hand side we've we've now got these functions we can actually look left and look right without um, doing dual dual things on the screen which is good to see thank you for putting that back in uh, but one of the other things that was an issue obviously I have tried mapping the replay button I've tried pressing M on the keyboard as well which is um, if we come back to the main screen and continue you press F2 on your keyboard and you can bring up this little menu um, and obviously as you can see just up here in the middle session controls you can see replay is M uh, but that does not work midway through a race it just doesn't work uh, but cycling through these um, you could have while you're driving it's probably very off-putting while you're driving to do this um, but one of the things I do like doing is uh, once I'm actually up ahead just having a blank screen just purely focus on your driving that is brilliant I do love having that feature back um, but generally I think I drive with the basic hood on because you've got the MFD at the side and I do like to change sometimes my brake balances uh, traction control it is sometimes very easy and if you if you want to flash somebody 
to say thank you for something it's all right there great to see that the delta is back to three decimal places that is a, another fantastic um add back back to the game and i i really do i, I would like to commend the people at untold games um f for persevering with this to be honest because I was very critical in my last video of where the game was heading and I do kind of see a lot of positives coming from this um, this little patch that all right it was two weeks to get it to us I think or was it a week it might have even been a week to get it back out and they have remedied some of the problems quite quickly and I think I think I could say this for all of the community out there that are on console that just take your time in getting it out there do some more testing and just deliver a quality product when you're ready to put it out don't feel that there's a pressure on you to get every patch out um to a certain deadline i, I think we would all rather that you took an extra month to finish something so that when it came out issues like uh, what we had um were resolved um and we're not having to put up with a substandard patch before it comes out. Um, so I think coming back into here, we can still see these horrible textures. You can see the um, the guys standing here with all the textures perfect on the car, but they're just not popping on the men. It's just little things like this, I think. Um, so yeah let's let's come out with that we, we've gone through the issue that we've got obviously there's that other issue you can see on this screen there saving replay all the time um another issue i found last night while i was sat in the pits i'd, I'd done my laps um i came back and sat in the pit there was 10 minutes to go during the session i thought i would look in on how other people were driving the circuit uh, maybe offer a little bit of advice while i was sat waiting as well um but i just ended up stuck in somebody else's car and i could not get out of it i could not do anything after that and that happened to me twice last night someone else mentioned that if obviously you're going to have to use the controller but if you actually start the game with the controller um, and then turn your wheel on i think that's always been an issue the the wheel just doesn't work but he was saying that the game does actually abort back to the main xbox menu and he launched the game again using his wheel and then changed to the controller which i think we're all doing anyway um, i think you should always start the game with the wheel anyway choose it right from the very menu and if you're having other issues as well um always remember to update the operating system on your xbox as well the developers will always be running the most up-to-date operating system they'll always run the most up-to-date um, software on wheels so if you're not using the same up-to-date software you cannot really com you, you cannot really say to the developers that my wheels not working properly because they're not using the same software or firmware as you're using they're always going to be using the most up-to-date stuff so if you've ever got an issue with your wheel or with the game itself not feeling right always look at updating your operating system on your console and the firmware on your wheel before thinking there's something wrong with just your setup um what else is there <clears throat> obviously there's still these graphics that are taking quite a long time to pop and these horrible images that we see that are still blurred within the game and then it cuts to i don't know why you would do that i really don't I can understand it in certain contexts where you've got different apertures working some things that are forced focused and some things that aren't but a totally out of focus image uh, just little things like that that are, are holding this game back but last night's um r stuff that i did online online racing uh, with public lobbies was really good um everyone seemed to um get on quite well and i think they've, i've had a few issues where the ai during races have just span out at corners at the start of races and then the game wasn't able to start and you've just had to restart again hoping that the ai actually make it to the race but i did a full race they all did their pit stops um it was a cracking race so i could probably add that at the end of this video if you wanted to watch that but it's, it's only like a little 10 minute race but 
I'll see how long this video is before I look at adding that. Um, so yeah, we've covered one setup at Suzuka. Um, let's do the next one. <clears throat> uh, where else were we? Nurburgring. Um, I haven't run hot laps here, uh, but as you can see there, hit in a 155.9 during last night's testing. And I've just run a number of laps, nothing crazy. Obviously, we've got the temperatures here that I've tried to bring low down just so that we can look at a fast lap, which is what everyone does. Um, but if you aren't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Please do like and subscribe. Um, please do hit the thumbs up on the video. It really does help. You see there that just the graphics just popping in the background. Um, but yeah, if, if you do, if you are interested in what you're seeing on the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Um, share the videos, share the content. I would much appreciate it. Thanks to all the people that leave comments as well. Again, really do appreciate them. Obviously, we're going through this um, phase again where we're just loading our setup in. Um, press the Y button and we can come down to this setup that we used last night at 30 degrees. So, uh, obviously, um, let's just come back out and choose the wheel again. Sometimes a very long time between these um, menus. And I do like um, when the race is about to start, um, you cannot actually start onto the track until there's 30 seconds left, which it announces 30 seconds um, and you can come back out on the circuit. Um, so yeah, coming into, let's go into these setups. Obviously I've set this at 30 degrees track temperature. So as it's got colder now, we've got to increase the tyre pressures because we're running in 13 Celsius. Um, so I'm just going to add, let's say, maybe seven to each one of these, just to, just to see something like that. I'm not I'm not being accurate at all with these because you can never just jump in and um, expect that to work. But it's going to be colder, so. Let's see. You could just run through that setup there, to be honest. This is the setup I'm going to use. And I have just opened out those rear rear um, brake ducts as well, because I did find that the tires, the rear tires do get quite hot. <clears throat> it's all about getting that rear traction, I think, here at the new open. So you can see as we're going to cross the line, they're going to be our tyre pressures um, down there. So I'm not particularly happy with them being that hot or that high. Maybe come down one more. Obviously always trying to hit that. Um, not quite happy with that one. 27.8, but obviously it's colder. So sometimes they can struggle to keep the temperatures So let's see what we can do here. Again, I'll just use TC1 as I come off the corner there. Back to TC7, breaking up the 100 yard board. Very early on the brake there. Getting the car out wide. Always a very tricky corner. Don't want to run too wide there, you really want to just keep on the curb. No good me talking while I'm driving trying to set a fast lap. And that's what hap that's what that's exactly what happens when you are switching from traction control one to traction control seven and then you don't switch it back i had a few occasions where i got it caught me out last night during the race 
it does get much more traction off the corner so just remember if you're doing that I have two buttons assigned to my wheel that I switch between them terrible much better tighter line so TC1 TC7 TC1 TC7 Oh, just corrected my steering there as I was coming off the corner A little lift, back on the power oh. <coughs> oh, that was terrible Just feel like we're sliding around a little bit. So much more confidence with this version of the game. Just throwing the car around really. Right, let's try and go for a lap then. TC7 Here the traction control C7 Just wouldn't shift to first there <coughs> Sometimes it just doesn't come down as fast as I'd like Better. TC one again. I'll just use it wherever I can, really, coming off corners. Back to TC seven. I do love the, the grass, the dirt on the glass. Oh, just wide. Bit out of shape there. Pretty close to what I did last night at 30 degrees, so I'd really just not focusing. I certainly want to see s s yeah just sliding a lot there coming down through the gears very quickly
does feel really good though, I'm really confident. Just banging really consistent lap times I think. bit of understeer through there and still just as fast as I'd like to see at least we've got some delta to go on this time particularly much up. Oh, nearly caught me out with the traction control. Yeah, terrible coming off the corner there. I still think I'm quite happy that if this goes through um, I could be quite capable of hitting a 155 Feels pretty good to be honest at the Nürburgring. Um, let's come back. Uh, let's come back into the garage. Um, quickly, just look over that setup. Tire pressure-wise, just 26.8 all round. And let's just see if that little trick works. If we come down, come across, and it doesn't make any difference in that one. Um, so maybe if I just add that one. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference in that one. Maybe it's from previous ones where you've actually set that. I, I don't know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so yeah, that's that was that. Um, just have a little... I do like to just see how the tyres are wearing. So pretty, pretty even wear over those few laps. Um, nothing I'd really think about changing very much to be honest obviously we still don't know what's going on motec wise and the car does really feel quite agile um, so that's that's that one see how the replays look here obviously you get that saving replay all the time do you can save the replay from this section it's not an issue um, but another guy I was talking to obviously that um, he was doing league races and he said being able to press the, the the save replay button throughout the race I think he said he did it every three laps during the race so that at the end of the race he could look back throughout the entire race and see if there were any incidents on console um, you could actually see the full footage because sometimes it does miss out quite a lot if you re just record the highlights you can't actually see what happens in all of it um, but there are quite a lot of functions that do work on the keyboard. If you've got a keyboard, um, you could obviously position certain keys on them. I have got keys on mine, but I think they were back from when I used to have Project Cars 2. Um, but 
trying to remember them, I should probably get like a little um, template laminated or something so that it's there to look at rather than having to map them all. But hopefully when they're fully functioning, uh, you could you could actually map buttons that you would like rather than having to stick to this specific ones that have been assigned. Um, so yeah, there's um, the Nürburgring. And the last one we're going to look at was Monza. Um, is there no Monza? So I'd be interested to see, obviously you could see there last night, I set a 59.6. Um, just ran a number of sessions here. <coughs> uh, but yeah, some good races last night. Obviously again, another really nice blurred image. And then a really nice focused and unfocused image that works. Um, back to the controls. Let's go to this setup. And I think it was the same one there. Come back out. I think that was initially my fastest one at, on obviously those conditions. I do like to name them. <coughs> Obviously, let's go into this setup because we're going to need to add some more tire pressure. And again, I'm just going to add, let's just add four for now. I know one of these tyres at Monza does get, it's quite cold. I think it's the rear left tyre. It's generally quite a cold tyre. Or either that's the tyre that gets the most heat. One or the, one or the other. Light, I was again. saying as well, it, it's definitely all about the brake in it, uh, Monza. The, the, the later you can be on the brake, the better. And I think I was running 666 on the bias. Just getting the power down round here as well is quite progressive, even at seven on the traction control. And if you actually try and run it at eight, it's very slow on the uptake. Way too much traction control. So I'm trying to brake as late as I can. Just swapping the traction control there. You can see the back left tyre and the front right tyre is like polar opposites. A little bit deep there. It's almost like the outer edge of the carcass of the tyre is just a little bit cold in these temperatures. So very slidey, cool temperatures. Don't know if these would be the best temperatures for the tyre really. Let's just do something with these tyres. They're just not in the right window, some of them. And obviously we're missing out on some traction. <coughs> so this will be the last setup uh, for this video. 
just enjoyed driving something different really rather than the Ferrari and just while we're testing the game I thought I'd do a few setups so yeah it does feel like there's a little bit less grip in these colder conditions almost like the tyres don't particularly switch on well in the cold conditions See if we can not run so deep into this one. <coughs> Just break a little bit earlier. Hard to try and carry the speed round those corners. <coughs> Just change that brake balance. So into the one forty eights very cold tyres, very cold carcasses just no grip at all so the temperature's probably not best you see the tyres really losing temperature so we start out at 28 and ended the lap on 27 I'm not sure what peak condition would be. Eager to get up to second. See the tyre just getting colder and colder, the right tyres. See if we can hit that 148. Just do a little experiment. Let's close out this brake duct a tiny bit just to try and keep some of that temperature in the tyre. And we'll just, we'll just raise it two clicks. Obviously, um, closing the tyre will obviously increase the temperature initially. Um, we could also look at maybe adding a little bit more toe angle to the tyres so that there's constantly scrubbing. Could reduce straight line speed at the same time but just if you are doing races in conditions that are quite cold to 
try and warm the outer carcass of the tyre it could be beneficial really want the tyre to look like that the whole time see just on the outer edges of the tyre just starts to get a little bit cool Ooh, really deep you see the um, see the brake ducts getting quite warm Definitely keeping more pressure in that tyre though. So I've actually gained a tenth. Tyre pressures are so important in this game. lost it all in that slide really so just losing too much in out of this tire as well um, let's just see if we add a little bit more toe on both ends of the car whether they'll be scrubbing the tyre a little bit more try and generate a little bit more heat although it can I do, I do think it um, affects the turning in this car quite a lot I'll just adjust that I do like the 666 on the brake balance Because we're running such low amounts of wing at Monza, the grip level is quite low. As well as this issue you can, we're having with the temperature of the tyre. Really quick hands coming through there. Earlier on the brake pedal here. Want the car, want have the car nice and slowed down through this little chicane. Still running too deep. Can't make the. Yeah, can't quite make. Uh, the, sh the navigation through the chicane as early as I'd like because I'm just carrying too much momentum into the corner I think we're going to have another hour long video here guys really don't want to add more wing to this car <coughs> might benefit by softening the anti roll bars a little bit further. Pretty happy through there, about the same each time.
doesn't help hitting that curb. Oh, lost it and tried to get it back. I did just think of something as I came through there with... Yeah, that was what I did think of, wasn't it? Just running... Just seeing if we do soften the anti-roll bars just a touch. <coughs> if it'll give us a little bit more grip. I think the track temperature would be better, just being that little bit higher. As much as obviously the air temperatures, what's affecting the engine output, it's not um, benefiting the tyres. One more lap or else we're going to be into that hour long video. Terrible. You see we're a little bit slower there. Try and get the car slowed down here. Just understeering with that extra um yeah I don't like that at all. The extra toe I don't even know if taking that toe off or just running point five would be better. Let's just run it a little bit. I did find adjusting the toe on the Bentley just to add so much understeer. I was finding the same setting it up at Suzuka, which would you it would usually give you a little bit more confidence. I think adding more toe, which just seems a bit more darty, but not in the Bentley. So I think we've got a few issues with the tyre pressures and the temperature, the air temperature I've chosen. I'd still like to see a 148. Still think coming down to second gear for that corner. And this is it, do or die really. So much understeer and then so much oversteer. Just like the tyres, just 
give up completely. Really want to see that forty eight. Pretty much neck and neck coming down to second or staying in third, but really didn't keep my foot in there at all. Just doesn't feel like the front end's gonna stick. So I finally got 148. That's the best 148. Really doesn't feel like the tyres are in a good place at all. Um, so maybe not the best setup in the world, but as you can see, even in the hot temperatures, I was able to get into the 149s. So I hope you found that useful. Um, just stick with the game that's all I can say if you've got issues uh, we are all living with them we're all suffering with the same problems um, just keep keep working at it Kunos um, Untold Games keep persisting with it it's the Jeff definitely the best racing game sim racing game on console and if it could only just get that little bit better and iron out some of these little problems that we've got with it I don't really want to move to Forza we don't know what Forza is going to bring obviously there's a heck of a lot more content with regards to different cars and vehicles and it's just it's the driving experience for me as much as I've always loved Project Cars 2 um, the driving experience in this game is absolutely off the scale there's nothing compares to this on console there really isn't um, so yeah, keep doing what you're doing, try and keep developing the game, do some testing, do some more testing before you release the patches. We will wait for it, we would rather wait for a good patch. But thanks for watching, until next time, ciao for now.